Meet Cytachain, the world's most innovative crypto ecosystem. Cytachain simplifies DeFi for mainstream users and seamlessly integrates crypto into everyday life. Discover the endless possibilities with Cytachain's Layer 0 blockchain. Go and check them out, cytachain.com. From meme to utility, Floki has it all. NFT metaverse game called Valhalla. Floki University, DeFi, charity, and shopping. Floki is governed by the people, for the people. Floki, together, there is no stopping us. Have you ever wanted to invest in real estate, but never had the means to do it before? With Credify, your opportunity has arrived. With as little as $100, you can tap into a whole new world of reliable loans backed by a range of real-world assets, including real estate, future receivables, and more. What's up, what's up, ladies and gentlemen, Jimmy here. I would like today to talk about a very important topic, and that's actually the topic of greed and euphoria. And I think both of, of us, you and I, we know that greed and euphoria is basically everywhere in this bull cycle. Uh, especially in the last few weeks. This is basically the fear and greed index uh, zoomed in into uh, uh, the last uh, like the, the three months. As we can see that greed is fluctuating here. And uh, normally I wouldn't uh, use this fear and greed index in isolation. Uh, but if we um, um, uh, take into consideration the amount of meme coins, uh, crypto influencers um, initiating their own coins, their own meme coins, uh, a lot of rugs, uh, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of chaos basically in the crypto space. It tells me actually a few things. One, there's a lot of capital in the market. Secondly, risk appetite is still really high. And thirdly, uh, there's just a lot of greed. And I truly believe if you understand your own greed and you have a basic understanding of market psychology, you can leverage other people's greed for your own success. But for this, you truly need to understand what greed really is, what it, where, where it comes from, its function, and how to make use of that uh, for your own benefit. So see greed or being overly greeted uh or greedy as a um as a weakness and if a lot of people are suffering from this weakness and you not then you have the power and the skill to leverage to to make the most out of that situation by the way guys uh i'm really sorry for my running nose uh still hope that you guys can uh, hear me clearly i would like to start first with a really powerful quote from uh, Eric from honestly I don't really know him uh, I came across this quote and it really resonates with me and this is um, so true especially when it comes to trading or any area where you are trying to make money greed is a bottomless pit which exhausts the person in an endless effort to satisfy the need without ever reaching satisfaction what scares me a lot is um, we humans, we really love optimization, high efficiency, being effective, um, aiming for perfection. But if there's like one industry where you shouldn't aim for all of these, it would be crypto and trading. Greed is indeed bottomless because how it doesn't matter how much money you have made, you're always aiming for that extra zero, for that extra, uh, you know, 10x. Uh, you always want more. There's no satisfaction in that. Secondly, even if you have made a lot of money, let's say you started with 10K, you ended up with 100K, and uh, that 100K even overshoots to 500K, and then the market tanks and you take profit at, uh, and you liquidate everything at 300K, Still, this doesn't feel really comfortable because you, because we always do mental accounting uh, because we know that 500k was our all-time high of our portfolio. We just ended up with the 300k. It actually feels like a loss of 200k. So this is what I mean with it eats, it destroys your satisfaction. 
and then ask yourself, what happens to people when their satisfaction has been destroyed? Well, I will tell you a lot of things. One of these things is uh, many of them, a lot of them, they will deviate from their own trading principles or rules and they're just going to try to compensate their losses or their, their, their mental losses. And this is a big problem. I truly believe that this is a really big problem and it's really my wish that you are strong enough to reframe from your, uh, you know, yourself from acting like that. So let, let's talk a little bit more deeply about greed. So one thing you need to uh, need to know or how or the, the way how to see uh, greed, how um, the, the interpretation of greed is, it's actually a disordered desire for more than it's decent or deserved. And it's not for the greater good for one's own, uh, but um, it, it's more for its own selfish interest. And often it's at the detriment of others. And with others, I mean, um, other people you know in the space, even your family, your wife, uh, your husband, uh, your neighbors, uh, being greedy comes with a lot of consequences. And greed can be actually in everything. And this is how you can uh, determine if you're greedy or not. Ask yourself, are you greedy with food, with money, possession, power, recognition, status, admiration, sex? All these things are actually telling something about your level of greed. It's not only money. It's not only possession. It's also the, the less tangible things, you know, the things I just described, like um, power, fame, attention, uh, admiration, admiration, and so forth and so on. And the funny thing is, uh, there is a reason why a lot of animals are less greedy than we are. Um, and it's quite funny. It's because us, we humans, we often think in future scenarios. We think in different timelines. We even think, you know, to the time uh, even beyond our death. Uh, so our children and our grandchildren can have a good life. This is actually also a form of greed. Uh, you could say this is a you know, form of taking care of your family. But there's also a layer of greed involved in this. Uh, another theory is that uh, greed is instilled, programmed in our genes because it promotes survival and reproduction. We all know one of our main goal is to reproduce. And uh, from a psycho uh, psychology perspective, from a um, uh, uh, our subconscious mind has actually one goal, and that's survival. So we will do everything to survive, even if it means to be greedy. But then on the other hand, I truly believe that um, uh, being awfully greedy is discouraged, uh, not uh, endorsed in all religions, in all school of thought, and uh, by a lot of philosophers. So take this into consideration. I want to that you understand this concept so we can move forward. We all know this uh, psychology of a Bitcoin cycle or a crypto cycle. Whenever we are in um, uh, optimism, belief, thrill, or furia, we always aim for that extra zero so we can add it to our portfolio, right? So if it is like 1K, it would be 10K. If it would be 100K, it would be 1 million. If your portfolio is 1 million, we're aiming for the 10 million. If our portfolio is 10 million, we're aiming for the for the 100 million. I think it's good to be uh, ambitious. However, greed can blind you. And it can blind you in such a way that you don't see market tops or warning signals that comes from the market. So ask yourself now, where are we in the cycle? And how greedy are you now? And what are the consequences of being greedy? Well, I will tell you, there are many. I um, already mentioned the other one. It's going to kill your level, level of satisfaction. There's no satisfaction anymore. And then you're not able to take profit. Uh, you're going to take huge position sizes. And this often happens when you just made a really good trade. 
uh, after what I see is people easily deviate. They just think, hey, this is easy money. So I'm just going to open a big position size or I'm going to invest in a lot of meme coins without doing any proper research. I'm not per se against meme coins, but most of them are just shit or they over leverage, high use high leverage. And I'm pretty sure many of you can recognize yourself in what I'm just um, uh, uh, describing. So what happens here is people are actually breaking their own uh, rules, their money management rules, trading rules, uh, portfolio rules. Um, this is a really bad thing because this is the ideal recipe to lose a lot of money. And other, uh, and this is probably the opposite, is what I see with a lot of greedy people, especially when the market is in an uptrend, they're setting their bits too low. For example, Bitcoin is now trading around 70K, then they would set bits around 40K. And I think that is kind of strange because uh, this is just another recipe to stay sidelined for a long time. Another thing I often see with a lot of traders uh, and also traders I have coached is people tend to, because of greed, uh, because they're aiming for the high risk reward uh, ratio, they're setting their stop losses too tight. So setting your stop losses too tight, even in the bull market, it's actually the ideal recipe to get stopped out just to see your position or your um, setup um you know to uh resume to, to the upside without you um often what i also see is this is not only greed but this is also i think uh it comes also from fear uh people they tend to uh move their stop losses below their initial um um sorry there's a mistake here they tend to move their stop losses uh too close to their initial entry um, this is also not a really good thing, I believe. So we all have, and this is actually pretty normal now in this society, but we, a lot of us were targeting for this, uh, rich quick mindset. So my question is, uh, have you identified your own mindset and what needs to be changed in your mindset? And have you reflected on your goals? Um, perhaps I'm, you know, uh, requesting a lot of things from you, identifying your ch uh, mindset, changing your mindset, reflecting your mindset. I'm afraid that most people who are watching this video, they don't even have real proper goals or a real proper trading plan. If this is you, then I'm afraid that um, greed is not something you will overcome, but it will overwhelm you. People who have a goal or written trading plan and people who are not aiming for perfection, often they will take advantage of those who cannot handle their their uh, their greediness. And also, don't think too much in outcomes. Think in processes. This is what will help you uh, to to survive this bull market. And I'm deliberately saying here, surviving the bull market. The bull market is here. You're here. Your own go your goal is to make money and survive this bull market and not to give too much money back to the market. Of course, uh, th there's no perfection. Uh, we cannot exact, uh, predict or anticipate uh, the exact top. This is very normal. Uh, so there should be a uh, some kind of, um, you know, you should allow yourself some kind of deviation of 20, 30%, even 40%. Uh, of your portfolio if the market really tanks. It depends on your uh, risk appetite and uh, your uh, uh, investment and trading pr profile. So I would say really rethink your approach for 2024 and reflect on your goals. If you don't have written goals, your goal is like just having, um, striving for that 1 million, is not really a goal, to be honest. You have need to write this goal down and then come with a strategy how you're aiming how you're going to uh, uh you know how you're going to uh, make that one million on the other hand it's good to be greedy um may sound a little bit strange but it will make totally sense be greedy with your training plan or your investment plan 
be greedy with taking profits on the way up um i'm a trend trader uh so just randomly taking profit is not maybe a really good thing but i do take profit at key levels uh redistribute my profits into other coins or i rebalance a little bit so uh my profit goes to stables uh and i use these tables again for DeFi um uh for DeFi uh purposes so i make money at you know at uh, uh with with DeFi. um uh, be greedy with moving stop losses uh above your initial entry or even tps when there is like a real uh uptrend uh be greedy with securing profit every single cent counts how you do anything is how you do everything don't think oh this is just a, a trade i opened and the position size is relative you know low compared to my total portfolio no how you do anything is how you do everything every time be also greedy with your time and with your energy um this bull market is going to consume a lot of energy and a lot of time be greedy with that don't um don't waste your time and don't waste your energy on drama on twitter for example and that kind of stupid shit. be greedy be respectful towards your time and energy they are sacred they are special resources you need to protect them and be greedy with your uh trading principles so i hope this um quick um workshop video helped i'm really greedy with um uh, giving a lot of love and attention to my uh, portfolio. Um, not sure if I already mentioned it, but I stopped trading uh, low time frame setups, as I believe uh, it's not really worthwhile my time, not even like worthwhile the money. Um, my pure focus for this year goes to um, uh, swing trading and building up positions uh, for the for the you know coming periods coming um, coming months so perhaps some of you are really interested in what bitcoin is doing now i, I think um today's 30 march tomorrow is sunday so we have then tomorrow again a daily close a weekly close a monthly close and a quarterly close let's quickly check the quarterly oh by the way those who are asking hey jimmy what's actually your target for uh for uh for this uh, bull market i love to use fibonacci's so i would say the target i have in mind is around 170 180k based on fibonacci extension levels you could use this uh if, if you would apply this here on this uh high of 2017 and this low here pretty much aligns with the top we had here i believe um you know the the, the this quarter is not closed yet of course but most likely we're going to close like this something like this um this really displays uh strength uh and, um i i, I believe we're going to see some continuation here if we go to the monthly wait i should do this sorry guys make it bigger for you on the monthly um on the monthly i rather prefer to use the like the bodies rather than the 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 wicks wicks it's telling me something it tells me okay there was a rejection here rejection here rejection here rejection here this doesn't really look like a rejection i know the monthly hasn't been closed yet still need to wait um, um one day today and tomorrow uh, but this is also this suggests strength basically it could even drop back to 62k uh and even lower i would say that would be a really nice uh, level to uh, to reload then we have the weekly The weekly doesn't look that bad as all well at all I like the um, the candle here uh it th th this week's candle basically confirms this this price action this um 
this uh you know it has a shape of the hammer but you know the hammer you will fight you, normally you we fight like the hammer at the uh at the bottom uh but this suggests that there's you know strong appetite to uh to 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 buy uh to buy bitcoin to buy an appetite really nice so yeah my premises um that bitcoin will do very well we have some helping might see some helping dump or even a pump uh you know post or uh pre or post halving but the the main thread is really obvious the main thread is just up and i i i um my thesis is we're going to resume the upside uh while bitcoin is making on the way up uh higher uh higher lows like here, like low here low here low here this was like also low here bitcoin recently uh wait sorry guys dropped from here to here with you know 16 percent which is pretty normal i mean a drop of 20 2016 up to 20 25 percent is pretty normal before it uh, resumes to the upside looks um uh, pretty decent to me uh perhaps like one one thing i would like to show you is when bitcoin broke here the all-time high we saw a lot of um it, it didn't it, it gave us some pullbacks but it can quickly escalate to the upside and i suspect something similar we might see some pushbacks some corrections and uh probably we're gonna see something similar not exact the same thing of course but something similar that leads us to around 170k or even uh, above that that level again if my level is 180k for example it will be foolish and also really greedy to fully scale out at 180k if i'm convinced that 180k is my uh is uh could be the top based on psychoanalysis and different analysis then um uh, i would normally take profit on the way up and then uh scale out um around that 180k but even also before that 180k and having some uh moon back around 180k if it overshoots it's nice if it doesn't overshoot and it declines uh that's fine and then i'm uh out of of, uh, of bitcoin uh, this is just one uh, one perspective i would like to share with you guys um hope you enjoyed this uh, video if you liked it give it a like if you did not like it uh, let me know why uh, if there's any topic you want me to address let me know uh until the next time see you around legends bye bye